All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Behind me, I got a 2005 Chevy Impala. Now, here's the customer's complaint. Car starts up, drives, no problem. But once it warms up, it shuts off, and it's very hard to start back up and keep going. And most of the time, it don't. So we're going to be checking that out coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, even though the check engine light is not on, this is the first place you would want to go because in a lot of cars, um, the computer will pick up a problem and it will store it in memory, but it's not enough to cut that light on. And it might give you an indication about what's going on. So we're going to do the diagnostic connector is located up under the dash to the right of the steering, steering column right there. So we're going to get our scanner plugged up. All right, and let's get ready to pull these codes. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're here. We got an ABS code and look at that. We do have one code for the ECM uh, and again the check engine light and it's not on so let's hit enter exhaust gas recirculation sensor a circuit fault okay that is not going to cause and it's an intermittent problem it is not going to what does that mean let's, let's go to let's, let's go to code connect Replo replace the EGR valve Sensing a problem with the EGR valve, and this EGR valve is electronic, but um, we're not going to go with that yet. We'll keep that in mind. Now, low tire pressure might have something to do with it running. Stop. <laughs> All right, so that's history, too. Let's get that's an ABS code. So let's get out of here. I'm not going to worry about nothing yet. All right, let's start the vehicle up. And as you can see, matter of fact, let's go over here and look at the dashboard. And the check engine light is right over there. So let's start this up. And you can see the check engine light is not on. Now the ABS light, oh, there it is, went out. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna <coughs> warm this car up and uh, as you can see, the temperature is really low. So when we come back, if it stalls out or whatever it's gonna do, I'm gonna wait till that temperature gets up there to the warming section. All right. Matter of fact, guys, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Before I do that, let's go up under the hood and I'm gonna show you a few things. We'll be right back. All right, guys. You know what we're gonna do? Just to save us some time, just in case it does shut off, let's hook up some testers up here. The first thing we're gonna do. I'm going to take off one of the spark plug wires, one that's easy to get to. Or oh, we can actually unhook it from... Wow, this thing going to need wires or something. Make it actually a little bit easier. Let's get us a spark tester. Hook it up. Alright, so that'll let us know when if, if it stalls out. We'll be checking to see if spark. Now let's go up under here. Take this cover off. Put this back on. And what I want to do is take off the cap to the Schrader valve. And let's hook up a fuel pressure gauge to there to see if we're gonna see if we're gonna be losing fuel pressure. Now, I would like to have one hooked up for the injectors, annoyed light, but if I do that, the vehicle's gonna have a misfire. So let's hook this up. All right, now let me start the car up and I'm gonna show you, first I'm gonna put the key on and we're gonna see just where that fuel pressure goes up to.
Okay, what does it go up to? 50. All right, 50. That's good. And we want to make sure there's no leaks around nowhere because we don't need this car running. No leaks going on. All right. Now let's start it up. Pressure is holding, and you see the light flashing. That means okay, we got spark. And we're gonna let this warm up and see what happens. See if hopefully it'll stall out, and we can see what's going on. We'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes. It's still running. Uh, Timmy's on the gas to warm it up a little bit faster, and we'll update as soon as it starts to settle up. It was actually it was almost at 60. Even when it was messing up? Yeah. It was above the 50. And you have spark. Huh? You have spark. Okay, fuel pressure, when you were just doing that, it was at about 45. Once it shut off, it dropped down to about 40. That still should be enough. All right, guys, you see what we're doing. See what we're facing. So we still got spark, fuel pressure good, acting up. Man. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, let me, uh, let me look at some, look at the air filter here. Thank you, man. I make this thing so. Oh, that looks. That looks good. <laughs> All right, let me try this again. Do you, should this be closed up? No, nah, I can stay up there. Okay. You know what? Smell some kind of burning or something kind of familiar. You smell that? Yeah. You know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. It looks like wires burning. Yeah, I had that that smell before. Yeah, guys, this is a truck core fire. <laughs> this is the uh, mass airflow sensor, guys. I'll show you a quick way of testing this. Let's unplug this. Why, why did they put the tab at the bottom? Why couldn't they put the tab on the top? All right. Now we're going to start this up.
Yes, look at that right there. I'm gonna do is shut it off. Now I'm gonna plug it back up. Well, what is that? You didn't tell us what that is. I did say what that is. No, you didn't. I said mass airflow sensor. No, you didn't. We can go back on video. We can. Replay. They're gonna say, yeah, he was right, Sylvia. Mm hmm. I wish I had my Autel AL 539B. What the heck kind of? <laughs> that's a B. That's a. Go, I think. Like that. No, B is like this. No, that's a B. That's what is it? Not like a this? B. What is that? What is B? One, one hand. Like, okay. The other way. Okie dokie. The other way. Okie dokie, Sevi. <laughs> All right. Because if I had the Autel AL 539B, I would definitely graph this sensor right now. And we can check that bad but signal But it has three out. wires. But this is the Autel AL539B. It don't care. I can still do it. And I'm going to show them how to do that too. <coughs> so we got a bad sensor. A what? We got a bad mass airflow sensor here. And it looks like... Now these are called security bits right here. Because it's got that little center piece that sticks in there. So it's not like a Torx. It's got a little center to it. It looks like a pain in the butt. Yeah, we got the bits to it. Got the bits set from Harbor Freight. Right? That's right. Instead of sitting here and changing the whole thing. But what I want to do, I'm going to take this up and see if we see dirt inside there or anything. So let's unplug our uh, air temperature sensor. And let's try to get this. Dang it, man. What the heck? Let me see. Can I get this? Oh, my goodness, man. Is it not hot? Not yet. For normal people, it would be. Uh, we can't see in there because of the screen. But, uh, dang it. Let's go. Yeah, air filter's clean. You know, before we do anything, let's make sure we got, make sure the wires are good, the plug. You know, now there is a ring in here that we can take out and take this piece out, this comb, and we can look inside there. Why in there was a screen. It's a, it's That's a, a comb? Yeah, look like, see, like a bumblebee with a comb. Like a honeycomb? Yeah, we'll see in a smaller version. I like the screen better. All right, you know what? Let me go get the Torx, the reversible Torx, the security bits. <coughs> we're going to see if we can take that out. And at the same time, we're going to look it up to see how these come. Does it come with the sensor? I doubt if you have to get the whole throttle bike. That would just suck. You have to get a pair of vice grips and take those off or whatever and do what you have to do. But we're going to take this out. We're going to look it up and see if it's dirty. See if we can just clean that up and get this thing going. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We did find the sensor, so we have found it. But we're still going to try to clean this up. I don't know. Just I have a question, though. Ah, okay. uh, you ask you you ask so many questions. All right, I don't have to ask. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this out and clean this up. You said I couldn't ask. All right, what's your question? Okay, so I get the how you did it that you unplugged it and the car ran good and you know yada yada yada. But how do we know for sure that it the sensor is no good? <coughs> That's, you know, that's, that's an excellent question, and uh, I can actually prove it to you if I had my Autel AL539B. Well, where is it? It's, um, something happened to it, so they send, they send me a new one. I should have it in a few days. Well, so we then can't I would wait graph a few days. 
I'll tell you what, you wanna you wanna be like that? Okay, right, fine. Y'all guys wanna y'all guys wanna be on her side of this? Fine. We're gonna pull out the Vantage Pro. Yeah, 40. We're gonna pull out the, yeah, the snap on Vantage. We're gonna pull you wanna know? We're gonna pull out the Vantage Pro and we're gonna but graft this. That's not a DIYer tool. But okay. I personally <coughs> can't afford to spend three thousand dollars on a scanner. Alright, alright, but what I can do is I can prove that the sense is no good and we can get an idea of a bad waveform for oh, this sensor. At least get the same thing if we use the Ortel. Oh, if you use the Ortel, you're going to get an even a better signal because what I I got I got to show you with the screen because the screen on the Snap-on Vantage, you got to like adjust it if the sun is out or something. You can't hardly see it, but the that's Ortel. That's not the point. We don't care about the screen. Yeah, yeah, but we that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But the what screen. I know uh, wait a minute. Let me finish. The Ortel al 530 b has a white background, like like you know what they call white something, whatever it's called, and it's very clear. So you're going to see the exact same. Actually, you're going to see a better waveform on okay, the Ortel al 530 b my question to you is, I understand you, you, you're going to use the Vantage Pro and, well, we can't afford a Vantage Pro. We don't have money like you. And, um, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so, what I want to know is, is the waveform, um, uh, or a bad waveform rather, is it going to be the same thing? on the Ortel and the uh, Vantage Pro or if we use the Ortel is it going to show us something totally different so it would be no point for us to see the Vantage Pro. Now, okay, that's a good question. No matter what kind of machine you're going to be using, the waveform is going to be the same from that electrical component. Alright, and here's our Vantage. The first thing we're going to do is take this set, we're going to go over here. Now again, this is a breakout harness. So instead of me, instead of me plugging this up and tapping into these wires and all that, what this does is breaks into it and brings everything out so I can see it better. The only thing I have to do is get this back unplugged again. All right. And I got to find the right harness connector here. Well, that thing right there is where is it? Purple. So does that mean you use the purple one? No. Oh. You should okay. use the purple one. The white one. No, and use see, the purple one. See that? See right? See right? See the pins right there? Yeah. You got to find one that will fit right in there. Oh, so the white see one's that? no good. Exactly. Here's the yellow one. I bet the purple one will be good. Here's the yellow. Well, oh, they're flat too. But that's too wide. I bet it's the purple. Let's try the purple one. See, I told you. <sighs> okay, it's the purple one. So what we do, we open Finally. it up. Now we got three pins back here. That we got, we're gonna need these. Uh, dang it. Alright. So let's see, we're gonna go into there first. So dang it. So we want the three. Are they all different? Three of them is the same and three of them is the same. We're going to want these three right here that has the openings. They're going to go into the sensor. But before we do that, we're going to put these in between. And they're like that. And then we're going to go in there. And if you can see the pins inside there, we'll take each one. Make sure, it's a, make sure it's plugged up. It'll be a tight, nice, tight fit. And put those three in there. One, two. And three. See, now that brings them out to here. Then, we take the other three. Push them into here. One, two, and three. 
Now, just as the sensor plugs up like that, we have to connect these like it was plugged up. So we got this one over here, and this one's gonna, it's gonna be kind of difficult here. One. Uh, this is the center one. Two. And three. Great. We got those plugged up. See now we can tap into the tap into the harness without even piercing any of the wires. Again, we want to make sure we got everything connected. All right, and let's go get our Vantage Pro. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the car put in, and we're gonna go down to the mass airflow sensor. Okay, go to test. And we're going to be trying the frequency test. So let's go in here. Now it's telling us the yellow wire hook it up to the mass airflow signal and the black to a ground. So here we got our harness coming from. Let's, let's hook this up. Yeah, let me get the right wire. Dang it. Be right back. All right. Black ground, yellow to the mass airflow signal. Now, which one is the signal? Well, I can go over here. It tells me that the one mass airflow signal is going to be a yellow wire. So, I got my little adapter here. And what this does is this end plugs into one of the connectors here. And then, just so I can something attached to it, I got this little alligator clip in here. So, it's the yellow wire. So, on our sensor... We got the yellow wire right there. So we're going to plug it up right into this one right here. And this is not good because we're going to have to turn this. Because we can't, got to make sure nothing touches so it will short out. There, that's perfect. So then we're going to hook up our black. To a ground. Let's go over here. I don't trust that. Let's go over here. This is definitely grounded right here. And we're gonna hook up our yellow one right there here. Now we go back over here to the screen. Now key on engine running, warm idle, set about 750 RPM. Frequency should be about two to three kilohertz. So we're going to see them down here. Then we go down at 2500 RPM. It's going to go to 4.0 to 4.7. May reach over 10 at wide open throttle. I am not going to be going wide open throttle with this engine right here. All right, frequency should change smoothly with no dropouts or glitches, which means the frequency going to, the number is going to show here, and our frequency is going to show as a line. And every time I hit the gas, it's going to go up. But it should be a nice, smooth line with no glitches or anything. So, we got everything connected. The only thing we don't have connect is our air temperature sensor. And just to be, just to, I can hook it up right. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me pop this off. I ain't gonna, I'm going to just sit here and plug it up right here. Heck with it. Just, as, just so it senses something. All right, everything is good. Everything is good. Now, I'm going to start it up. and Hopefully, I don't have to keep this thing running or not. Um, but what Sylvia's going to do, Sylvia's going to look at the frequency down there and see what's going on, okay? You ready, Sylvia? I'm ready. Let's let's go out of here. And the number kept going up and down and up and down. And here we're gonna let's go to a key on engine off test. Key on mass airflow signal should be looking like that. Oh look at look at look at that look at that jump around guys. Now let's see what it's let's see what up, up here it says. Um connect the mass signal 
the yellow we got right eye hooked up uh, check waveform signature integrity with key on engine off it should be right here just like this look what we getting down there look at that and this is exactly what the Autel AL539B will be showing but it would be showing it with a better screen you don't have to see this all this glare because it's about a bunch of glare Sylvia got the camera all the way up to the thing dang it look at that thing is messed up <coughs> alright let's get all this disconnected we def did we verify it? Good enough? How was good, it? Good enough. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so today we had a 2005 Chevy Impala with a 3.8 engine. And, uh, well, you guys heard to me discuss the issue in the beginning. After the car warmed up, it just wouldn't stay running. So we ran some tests and we came up with the mass airflow sensor. This may be the situation in your car. It may be something else, but we showed you how to check fuel pressure. We showed you how to check spark. So maybe some of those tests will help you figure out what's going on with your vehicle. If not, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section. Or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can repair it, nobody can. See you next time.